All right, so after waiting um, for two weeks for them to fix the cable that's in the road, we decided to uh, have Mary give them a call. So she gave them a call, and then uh, later that day, we got this. No new message. This is Spectrum Cable calling. Just wanted to uh, give you some information that we will be out today to take care of the line that is down in your backyard. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 869-5500. Uh, we will be out today between 10 and 11. Thank you. Bye. Excellent. Wednesday, so we'll, 8, 42 a.m. We'll just see how they do. I've got high hopes because it is, after all, Spectrum Cable. And if they said they're going to be out at 10, they're going to be out at 10. And... Nope. Here's your answer. They hmm. were supposed to come yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say they did not fix this. Although I don't think you really need to be a mystic to figure that one out. Nice. Still down after two weeks. <laughs> oh, it's been run over a couple times too, so. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I guess we'll see if that, uh, if that gets taken care of eventually. It would be nice to get it out of the road, because we've got work to do cleaning up the side of the road here. And, uh, well, Cable and TV are kind of interfering with that sort of thing. But yeah. Power company got up here right away. They managed to install a new pole and got their wires up on it. Obviously, they don't do the wiring for the phone and cable company. And apparently, Spectrum doesn't do wiring for the cable company either. And it it sucks because it's a uh, it's a corner pole, so that corner pole leaves the wires down from all the way up there, all the way down to here. And if you look right there, there's a distribution box. So basically, the uh, or amplifier, or whatever the hell it is, that's sitting in the in the water up there. Nice. And it is now Friday morning. And as you can see, hmm, doesn't look like they've done much to our wires. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. What do you think, Ted? Well, Ted says pee on that. That's the only fix, and I don't know who did that. Oh boy. All right, I know you smell something dead over there. You stay out of it. Got our road, uh, roadsides cleaned up. Well, as much as we could anyways. Because of course, excuse me Ted, the wires are still down. It's May 4th. What a few days after the initial uh, April 16th storm. Yeah, that's fine. Relax. One below its cable. And those two up there. Hot and hot. Huh. And another phone? That's interesting. That was not there the other day. Alrighty. What pray tell does that mean? Huh. 
Alright. So it appears that they, uh, they strung a new phone line. So, I don't know if this one's just not been cut over yet, or what the deal is. That's kind of interesting. No, just hasn't been cut over yet. Now that's cool. So they ran a new phone line, but they haven't connected it yet. So, now here's, here's the fun part about this. Everyone on our road, with the exception of one person, who's a uh, retired phone company guy, no longer uses phone lines. So that whole phone trunk is pretty much 100% useless because the rest of us are all using uh, Time Warner cable. Or actually not Time Warner, Spectrum, sorry. They just changed this over a little while ago. So, that's kind of interesting. The one utility that we don't use, and they get, uh, they got on the job quicker. Go figure.